Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So I've got some business travel coming up and if you're like me, you need to bring a laptop to stay in touch and keep up with work. Whenever I do anything more than email, I really like to have a second monitor for my laptop. However, trying to jam a second computer monitor into your carry-on luggage is probably not a good option and would probably get you sent to the back room for questioning by some scary TSA agents. I briefly flirted with the idea of trying to put a computer monitor into my check luggage, but what do you think are the odds that it would survive that trip? I mean, I guess if you wanted to save yourself a trip to Vegas, that's a good way to gamble with $100. And as I was thinking about how to figure out a better option, I realized that, you know what? I typically bring an iPad with me, watch movies on the airplane, and it's small, it's lightweight, it's got reasonable pixel density in real estate. Wouldn't it be great if this could function as a second computer monitor? Well, the answer is yes, that would be awesome, and it turns out some smart people have already thought of a way to do this. So today, I'd like to show you how to get your iOS device to act as a second screen for your laptop. We're going to accomplish this using an app called Duet Display. So all you need to do here is just come over to your iPad here, right? Go over to the App Store and search for Duet Display. And here it is. And I've already installed it on my machine here. Unfortunately, it is, um, it's not a free app. It costs $10, but it's probably the best $10 I've spent in the App Store. And it's way cheaper than um, trying to buy a travel-specific monitor. So if I just go ahead and open that app here, you see that it basically says, all right, I've got it installed, and now I need to go ahead and connect this to a, a Mac or a PC. So what I'd like to do now here is... We've got the iPad ready for the connection here to the PC. We're going to have to go ahead and install some software on the computer here so they can talk together. So let's jump over to that computer there and get that software installed. All right, so let's go ahead and just go launch um, an internet browser here and just go ahead and search for Duet Display. And it should basically be the first hit we get. And all we need to do, this is actually really simple here, let's just go ahead and download the software necessary. And um, this might take a couple of minutes here, so I'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back once this is finished downloading. Alright, so that completed here, the download's done, let's go ahead and just run the EXE here. And uh, we'll walk through the installer. Okay. All right. So that finished here. It looks like it was successfully installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and click finish here. And we get the notice that I need to restart the computer in order to have these changes take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes here in a second. And we'll restart the machine. And we'll come back in just a second. All right, so we're back. I just restarted the machine here, and you see the only real change here, I guess, is, uh, yeah, we've got a little icon here on the desktop, but really we don't need that. Feel free to delete it. Um, if you come down here into the system tray and look at your icons here, you'll see that, yep, here's an icon for Duet. And if I just single click on that, you'll see, here we go, there's a couple of options so I can change things like frame rate or the performance here. I can go ahead and check for updates. Um, I really doubt we're going to have any updates because, oh, yep, there we go. We just installed it, so we're ready to go. So at this point, um, it's really quite simple. Anytime you start up your PC, um, the uh, uh, Duet application should already be running here in the background and waiting for just a connection from your laptop to the iPad using a USB to lightning cable. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll drop out of the screen capture here and we'll go back to the video camera to see what happens when we plug in the laptop to the iPad. All right, so here we are. We've got the iPad up and running here and we've opened the Duet application. And now all we gotta do here is grab our handy dandy trusty USB to lightning cable here and let's just go plug the two in so I'll plug this into the laptop first and now all I got to do here is plug it into the iPad and there we go it says launching do it and there we go. So it looks like I do have to make sure on the iPad that and say that I trust this computer. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'll hit trust. Great. And there we are. So let me move this cable out of the way so you can see a little bit better. But this sure looks like I've got a extended screen here. 
So, for example, if I just open up, uh, you know, a Windows Explorer here, I can take this and slide it over to the other screen now. Whoops, sorry for that kind of incorrectly. There we go. So it basically acts as a second screen. And just to show, maybe I'll open up another application like uh, Outlook here, so you can maybe see, you know, you can obviously have emails here, so on one screen and I can just quickly move it over to the other screen. And again, it should act just like a normal secondary monitor. So for example, if I minimize all our windows here and I come here on the laptop and I right click on the desktop and come down here to display settings, I know that might be a little hard to see on the, um, on the uh, machine, on the video here, but you'll notice here that I've got myself a second screen up here. So, um, there's a couple things, you know, you could obviously do with this if you wanted to. For example, you could change its orientation. So right now you see I've got it over here on the right side of the, the computer. But, you know, if I'm at a cafe or something like that and this is the only configuration that I can manage here is to stick the, the iPad here on the other side. Whoops. Let's try that again here. Right, you can obviously still treat it like any other monitor here. You could go ahead and, oh, come on, I'm going to knock this thing over again. I'm trying to just get this cable out of the way so you can see a little easier. But you can just take that second monitor, drag it to the other side here, hit apply. And now we should have this operating like usual. So I'll take this and I'll drag it over to the other side. And there we go. So here we are. We've got our iPad acting as our secondary display. Um, I know one of the other questions that I always would get here is I know a lot of people have things like a Surface here, which only has a single USB port. So you might ask, oh man, this thing just doesn't stand up. Hold on, let's go back to our other configuration like this. This is maybe a little bit more stable here with a cable kind of out of the way here. And maybe what I need to do here is again, let's come back here to our screen settings and switch it. So I'm gonna say the iPad is on the right of the display. Hit apply and close and all right sorry back to our discussion here i know a lot of people were asking you know well what if i have things like uh like a usb hub or something like that will this still work well yeah it totally should because this is just uh basically display through usb so let me unplug the lightning cable here and we see that yep the duet uh the duet on the ipad just goes back to its waiting state here and let's just go ahead and, yeah, use, use a USB hub in my Surface. So I'll just plug in the USB hub there. Heck, I'll plug in other devices. Like, let's say I got myself a little wireless mouse that I like to use here when I'm, when I'm on the road here. So let's take the wireless receiver for the mouse, stick it into the USB hub. And here we are. So I've got myself a nice mouse interface now. All right, so I've got the mouse. And now let's go ahead and plug in our second monitor via the lightning cable. And I'll just take the USB end of the lightning cable, plug it in to my USB hub, give it a second, and then see it should just natively work. It says it's launching Duet. And here we go, we're back to back to where we are here or where we, where we wanna be. So I've got my, um, my window here. I can now manipulate it with the mouse, move it here to the other monitor and we're pretty good to go. So, as you can see, this is actually a really nice little setup here. You can have yourself a portable office here on the road here by basically just using your iPad as a second laptop monitor. All right, so we've got this working and I know your next question is probably about performance. Like, is there is there any lag here? So, at low resolutions, you know, I'm happy to report that it actually seems reasonable. So. Um, I just do want to point out here, actually, if you notice here, like resolution wise here, if I right click on the desktop and say uh, display settings here, sorry, I know this is probably a little bit hard to see here, but the second monitor, the resolution is actually pretty darn low compared to the other, uh, to, compared to my main surface monitor. And in fact here, notice you actually can't even change the resolution. Right now it's just set at 1024 by 768. So you don't really change it through the windows setting. You actually have to come down to the Duet application here and you can change the resolution. I don't know if you can read that right there, but the, the last bar here is a way that you can change resolution. So right now it's, it's pretty low. It's 1024 by 768 here. And luckily though, at that resolution, it's pretty reasonable. So I've just got an example video here from my lab's website here that uh, is up on YouTube. 
So if we run this here on the main monitor, you can kind of see what it looks like, right? It's just an aircraft flying around here. Let's drag that over here to the second monitor and maybe we'll go full screen here and we'll see what it kind of looks like. Maybe I'll bring this a little bit closer. You can maybe, well, let's see if, see if this is any easier to, sorry, I know this is probably a little bit hard to see. But you can see things are things are moving around. Everything is moving smoothly. I wouldn't actually be able to tell that this was not a normal computer monitor here by watching the footage here. So the footage is actually quite nice here. Scrolling is fairly reasonable here. So for example, if I uh, come out of full screen here and I can just grab this window, drag it around, it there's some lag. You, it's definitely noticeable. I wouldn't be gaming on this as a second monitor here, but it's it's fairly snappy and responsive, and it's definitely usable for work here. Now, let's come back over here to the main monitor here. Maybe we'll rewind the video here and hit pause. And I want to show you that, unfortunately, this is not the case if you try to increase the screen resolution. So let's go ahead to the Duet application here. And again, I apologize, it's probably really hard to see, but let's just change the resolution up one notch. So instead of 1024 by 768, let's go to 1366 by 1024. So if I hit that, you'll see over here in Duet, it says adjusting resolution on the iPad here. So the resolution has gone up here, but unfortunately, this is almost like unusable. So notice I drag it around here on the main surface monitor. Everything is snappy and moves nicely. But when I bring it over here to the iPad now, man, it is chunking along. It is almost unusable at this point. Um, so for example, let me see if I can even get my mouse to go over the play button here of the video. Okay, there we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it's playing here. Maybe let's try to go over here to the full screen just so you can get a, a rough idea of this. Gosh, I, I can't even navigate the mouse reasonably because the, the, the lag in, is so horrendous. I think that's full screen. Let's try that. Click. There we go. Okay. Let me just put the camera here and maybe we'll, we'll just watch this and look at this. The video, this almost looks like, you know, one frame per second. It is, it's, it's horrible. So, um, unfortunately at higher resolutions, this system doesn't work quite well. I don't know if this is just the fact that my iPad is old here. This is actually a, uh, it's, it's a 2012 fourth generation iPad. So it's definitely not new by any stretch of the imagination. I can't imagine it's the, um, the surface here because this is a pretty much top of the line 2017 surface with an i7 processor here so I, I imagine it's that's not the culprit so I, I I have a feeling that it has something to do with the fact that um, my iPad is old or this duet system is just not good for higher resolutions beyond that 1024 by 768 so um, let me see if I can go ahead and get out of this here so I'll just go and close everything and uh, let's go and put the resolution back to something uh, reasonable here, uh, may, which is unfortunately reasonable means uh, very, very low here. So again, to do that, I could uh, just go ahead and launch the Duet application here and bring the resolution back to 1024 by 768. And it should say adjusting resolution on the iPad and everything is okay. And now at this, we're back to normal. So now we have a nice snappy experience here over on the iPad as a second monitor, videos play well and all that kind of good stuff here. So um, with that being said, I guess that's the one minor shortcoming of this. Again, that might just be the fact that my iPad is old here. Maybe if you have a newer iOS device, this would work better at higher resolutions. But for my purposes, this works great. It allows me to have a second monitor where I can easily do some very simple word processing or edit or emailing on a second screen while I do something on my else with my primary monitor. So. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video showing how we can turn an iOS device into a second laptop monitor uh, with very little extra hardware. It's just a little bit of software. So if you like this video, I uh, encourage you to subscribe to the channel because we should hope to hopefully have several other videos on uh, topics like computing, software, and engineering here in the future. So with that being said, I hope to catch you at a future video. Talk to you later. Bye.